Thank you again for taking the time with us. Uh, tell me about your work. Um, so I work in the field of mathematical biology and in particular um, oncolytic uh, modelling. So looking at tumour growth, uh, treatment, uh, invasion models. Yeah, I try to make mathematical models of, of, of these kind of problems and, and um, uh, sometimes I work with biologists on these problems to sort of try and find better, I guess, solutions. Um, my, my recent area of research has, has actually been in ovarian cancer because it has a really bad survival rate and, and there are some I'm really interested in trying to find sort of those biomarkers that can that can make it possible to sort of catch it earlier. Yeah, so that's my area. And how did you get interested in that area? Um, so basically, after I finished, I did my my undergraduate by by distance, and I, I finally went to Sydney University, and I met my supervisor, Dr. Peter Kim, and this is his his area of work, and we sat down and we spoke about it, and. And uh, once I started to work in that area with, with, with the different types of problems, I just, I just kind of blew me away at, at, you know, at, at you know, all the different ways that we can model these problems, all the, dif all the, all the different um, solutions that, that we, can, we can look for. Um, and, um, and also on a personal level, I, I lost my father to a brain tumor a few years ago. So it has that, that, that sort of personal element for me as well mm -hmm. to work in that area. Was there anybody in particular who sort of guided you along and who you would consider a mentor? Definitely my supervisor now. So, so yes, definitely my supervisor. He always encourages me to think outside the box. He is happy to, for me to, to try new things. Um, even if he thinks that it's, you know, even if he knows ahead of time that this, is, this may not be the best approach, he'll let me go down that path. He'll let me learn. But, and, and he's incredibly encouraging, and that makes all the difference. Um, yeah, so that's, I would say that he's, he's, probably, he's probably my main mentor in, the, in that area, yeah. Uh, now that you're a little bit further uh, in your career, you have, uh, um, I assume that you act as a mentor to others, and how do you approach that? Yes, yeah, so I, 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 I work at the university, I teach first year calculus there and I also um, have my own little tutoring studio and what I try and impart to my students is, uh, is this whole idea of, of working hard through, through problems and, and persevering, um, understanding that you're not just going to perhaps work something out overnight, that's okay, just keep thinking about it and, and eventually um, you'll work it out. And so I, I share my stories with them, I, I share not just the, the, the successes but the failures and, and how I try and work through this, those failures. I think that's important. So that's, that's sort of how I, I try and impart some of the things that I've learned. Um, yes, persistence and drive is really the key for me. Now on the other side of that equation, um, you're here surrounded by the <laughs> laureates. Uh, has there been anybody uh, in particular who stood out in your mind? Um, so yes, I, I wanted to meet um, Andre uh, Zimmeretti. Um, I, I, I really, it wasn't because we have anything in common when it comes to our research, but I, I was reading his background and I, I just found, yeah, the way he sort of went about it, his career and the changes that happened just really, really fascinating. So I was very, very interested to, um, to, speak, uh, to speak with him about, about that and yeah where, yeah, where that might all lead, how, how it all led to where, where he is now, yes. And have you had a chance to talk with him? Um, not just yet, but there's still time. We still have a couple of days. Yes. <laughs> uh, what about the other laureates? Is there anybody who sticks out in your mind? Yes, definitely. Um, def definitely Bill Phillips. Um, he is such an amazing character. I had, had had a chance to have dinner with him on the on the first night. Um, his enthusiasm and his drive and his passion and the way that he, he can um, describe and explain his ideas um, is just mind-blowing to me. So yes, yes. Anyone else who, who you've run into perhaps? Um, not that it sticks to my mind in the same way as, mm -hmm. as, as those two, yeah. How about the other researchers? What's your impression, Dan? Of the young researchers? Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. It, everybody comes from such diverse backgrounds. Uh, we're all working in different fields, um, but we share those those commonalities. You know, we 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 want to do well. We we want to succeed at what we do. Uh, you know, we love our we, we we love our fields and and the diversity of it all. And every yeah, everybody's here to sort of um, share their ideas and thoughts and um, and uh, not just mathematics, but but. Yeah, their struggles and their uh, their accomplishments. It's great. Yeah. I'm just going to take a quick look at my sure. list here. Oh, <coughs> uh, 
What was your, what were your expectations before you came to the HLF, and has the event lived up to them? Oh. So my expectations was, was basically um, uh, to, to meet the other young researchers, uh, obviously to, to meet some of the laureates and, and um, uh, spend time um, getting, to know, getting to know them, I guess, and it has far out, yeah, outdone itself, I think, the event. It's been fantastic. It's, um, it's, it's, oh. um, I really have had a chance to um, understand a much more diverse area of, uh, re areas of mathematics and computer sciences, things that I didn't even, I guess, realize that um, existed, and that's been fantastic for me, yes. yes. Any, any particular, and now I'm very curious, any particular areas that sort of became clearer to you from being here? Okay, so um, I guess it's, it's more the sense of um, computing and mathematics. Um, I just, I, I knew they overlapped, but not to this to this extent. Machine learning is something that I really didn't know that much about. And it was really interesting to sort of find out a little bit more about this deep learning and machine learning. I knew it was there, but yeah, it's really starting to kind of take over. And it was really interesting to find those things out, yes. Um, what advice would you have to somebody who's thinking of applying to the HLF? My advice would be to come with a really open mind um, to attend talks and discussions that you feel that you're not in your area and you know nothing about. Um, and just to sit there and, and, and learn and absorb the information and just expand your mind. That's, that would be my advice. Yes. Um, anything else that you think uh, is worth mentioning that we should have talked about perhaps? Mm, no, I think, um, I think you've pretty much covered it there. <laughs> just taking a look through of course, things. please. Uh, Oh, well, I suppose the last thing is after the HLF. Okay. Um, do you think that you'll approach your work differently from, from this experience? Well, I approach my work differently. Um, yes, and it was because of all the things that I learned about deep learning and machine learning. This is a very interesting area for me in biology because, you know, I, I tend to work with either very deterministic models or uh, stochastic modeling. And it's, it's very interesting to sort of think about how perhaps things may learn and evolve as well. So definitely something that I, I will definitely take away from that. But also just the, 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 the passion and the drive that people have here, that, that really kind of excites you and wants to get, get you back into your work again, yes. Okay, I have nothing else. Thank you so much Thank for taking you. the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>